Welcome to our special Facebook Live series called Expert Connections, where we are interviewing experts with information and insights to help us through this COVID-19 pandemic. When this is over and we fast forward and we look at ourselves in the future, what side of that are you going to be on? The, the person that showed up or the person that stayed on the sidelines? The empathy. We, we have that word in business. It's a part of how we do business or should be. First, empathize with where your customer or client is. There are a lot of problems to solve right now, and that means that there's a lot of opportunities to do the thing that you're really good at. This huge thing that's happening to all of us is a spectacular opportunity to question our business models and question our value propositions and question our mission and our vision. There is a lot of news today about relief for individuals and businesses that will be coming from the federal government. Number one, well, you need you need to do some really strong critical analysis of your business. And you gotta look at your numbers. And the number one thing you need to do is preserve your cash. So make sure there is no cash going out that isn't mission critical. If you're you know, thinking about laying people off, putting them on a leave of absence, terminating them, think through it and consider it very, very carefully about the long-term repercussions, not the short-term gains. Think about this as a holistic business approach. If your neighbor tells you something, it may not be right. <laughs> it happens all the time. Um, so just make sure you're trying to get good information. There's some level of grace that people need to have when they're dealing with everybody because everybody's really stressed out. Everybody feels this anxiety. Hey, we're trying to figure out what's going on from our end. You're trying to figure out what's going on on your side of things. We're trying to share information. We're all doing the same thing. We need to genuinely and authentically care for our clients and then tell them that. Tell them, show them how we're there for them. Let's not be reactive. Um, you know, public safety and health are absolutely paramount at this time. Um, but mindset is, is, a, is paramount too. So one of the best ways to improve our mental health is to connect with the here and now. But when you need that break, when you need that downtime, when you feel drained, take that break too. It's, it's just as important, if not actually more important for your own mental well-being. You are your own most valuable asset. What we have to remember is that just because it doesn't work for us does not mean that we are failing. Like we have to figure out what will work well for our family, our schedule. We both agree that what you put out into this world, the good work mm -hmm. that you do, the people you touch, it comes mm -hmm. back. It really made us look at the norms that we exist in, right, and, and adjust. There are so many blessings that come with that through wisdom and creativity and a, a whole different perspective. So I'm confident that this whole experience is going to bring out some, some positive change for each of us as well.